Good beautiful day Yuka here and today we'll be talking about black fashion magazines. I'm super duper excited because a lot of people support the magazines that are created by white people but they don't really give enough love to the black fashion magazines. <sighs> Before we get started make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications as well. Also make sure you check out the link in the description for more information on all the magazines that I mentioned. Also different ways for you to support Black Lives Matter. Okay first up Essence Magazine. I don't know what it is about Essence. I absolutely love Essence. I've always wanted to go to the Essence Fest. Never did, but I've always wanted to. <laughs> I love when Julie Wilson was the global fashion and beauty director at Essence. I think she did an amazing job. I've been watching Julie's work way before Essence. I think she's an incredible editor. She's at Cosmo doing her thing. I really love Essence. Essence. Ugh. Essence is just a vibe. I don't know what it is. It's just a certain vibe. It's just a, it's like a sisterhood. When I think of Essence, I think like community, sisterhood. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's just what comes to my mind when I think of Essence. But yeah, Black Magazine doing their thing. Created by Blacks. Editor in Chief is Black. It's just incredible. Next up is Ebony Magazine. Ebony Magazine was founded in 1945 and it's the first Black magazine to gain national circulation. So that's a really big deal. I I feel like not a lot of people talk about Ebony Magazine anymore. It seems like more people talk about Essence more than anything when it comes to black fashion. Ebony Magazine is still out there. They're still doing something. They're still doing their thing. I think they still deserve some flowers, you know, while they're still here. I'm here for it. Muna Luchi Bride Magazine. If you really want some amazing, amazing bridal inspo, if you thrive off of incredible aesthetics and crazy, like incredible looking ambiance. Hello, Minya Luchi Bridal right now. So one of the founders is Jacqueline Wobel and she's Nigerian. <laughs> I love when my people are winning. Oh man, it feels so good. But they have their 10th anniversary issue out now for the spring summer and I just can't believe they've been around for 10 years. I just found out about them like maybe two years ago or three. I'm not sure, but recent, recent, not 10 years, wow. But they're doing their thing and I love it and it's the most aesthetically pleasing bridal mag you see, like fashion on a thousand, okay? And it's always people of color, mostly black people that are on the covers of her magazine. So I'm here for it, I'm, I'm so here for it. I love that, I love that magazine. It's incredible. Color Magazine by Nigel Isaiah. Oh my gosh, Color Magazine was created like maybe two years ago or so. Nigel's my boy and I met him through, I don't know. I don't know how I met him, probably through like Fashion Week or something. I probably met him during then, I'm not even sure. I just know that he created Color Magazine. It focuses on mostly menswear, it seems like. it does. He does a lot of menswear, but it's all black people all black people in his in his magazines, which I love, love, love. And he's very seasoned in the game. Like he's been doing his thing for a while, writing and editing. So when he created his own magazine, I was just like, it's only right that you do so. <laughs> so I'm very proud of him. And I hope he keeps doing his thing. Crown Mag, Crown Mag is incredible. Currently on the cover of Crown Mag is Issa Rae and Yo, Crown Mag is doing their thing. I don't know. I'm, I just get, I get so excited for my people. I'm just like, yo, black people are killing it for real. Don't let them tell you you're not killing it, cause we killing it. Ah! Crown Mag is incredible. Oh gosh, I just love it. And it, they feature so many dark-skinned black people, which is something that's always caught my eye. So I'm, I'm excited to keep up with Crown Mag. I love magazines. <laughs> The Garnett Report was created by my boy Vince Lane. You guys should definitely check it out. He covers menswear and women's wear, and every he just he covers everything. <laughs> and I probably met him during Fashion Week some year, some season. I'm super proud of him. I'm super duper proud of him. And you guys should definitely check out the Garnett Report. He's more about like fashion and art combined into one. More of what his platform is about. I love the Garnett Report. Follow him. Vibe Magazine. You guys know Vibe Magazine. I've just known of Vibe Magazine for so many years. I I grew up looking at Vibe Magazine. That's one of the magazines that I would look at, flip through real quick, real quick when I was younger. They're still living and thriving. They still living and thriving. 
So yeah, check them out also. Definitely support Vibe Magazine. And on the cover of Control Mags, Control Brides, Summer 2020 Magazine is Trina Braxton. So, and she looks beautiful in a wedding gown. Looks amazing. Thank you so very much for watching. Please do check out the link in the bio for my blog post that features all these magazines as well as ways that you can support organizations fighting black issues. There's also a playlist that you can search on YouTube if you don't have any money. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. This is a free way you can support. Of course you can sign petition. There's a link below for that also. It's a live, it's a it's a continuous 24-7 live stream. If you search it and just let it play in the background, even put it on mute if you don't feel like hearing it, but let it play in the background it's the ads are being donated to organizations supporting black lives matter so that's a way that you can help out if you have no money there's many different ways so there's technically no excuse not to help out no excuse whatsoever thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i love you guys love you thank you so much make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos somewhere somewhere over here <laughs> thank you so very much i love you so much thank you <laughs> Bye.